Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a video. I posted on my Instagram that I wanted to do the my Instagram followers choose my makeup. So that's exactly what I did. I put up a poll of two different items for each category. So two primers, two foundations, two concealers, all that. And then based off of what you guys chose, I'm going to do an entire makeup look. I'm a little stressed about a couple things, but we're going to try it out and we're going to do it anyway. Um, so let's just... I guess get into it. So I haven't moisturized my face yet. I put on eye cream, but um, I wanted to wait till right before I did my foundation to put on my moisturizer. So I'm going to be using the Ula Henriksen Truth C Rush Brightening Gel Cream. I've been using this pretty much every single day since I got it. They actually sent it to me, which was one of the most amazing feelings ever because I've been using Ula Henriksen for so long and it's one of my favorite Probably my favorite skincare brand. So I've been using this cream for the last, I would say for the last week, almost a week. And I just love the way that it feels. I love the way that it smells. It smells kind of like oranges, but it's not like an overpowering smell. But it just makes my face like feel so, it feels like velvet. Like it feels so nice. So went ahead and put that on and by the way I'll leave everything linked down below I'm gonna spray my face really quickly with the pearlescence cucumber water it's a hydrating face mist and I get this at um, TJ Maxx I always check to see if there's alcohol in it and there's no alcohol which is good so there's just like water like witch hazel extracts um, glycerin all that so I figure it can't be too bad let me, I don't want my hair to get so... I literally just curled my hair a few minutes ago. It looks darker, I don't know why. But okay, So the first thing we voted on, I'm going to go in the regular order that I always would. I'm going to use the ColourPop Brow Boss Brow Pencil in the shade Light Brown. I was actually surprised that you guys chose this one instead of the Maybelline one, but whatever. This is probably my favorite brow color aside from the... Anastasia soft brown. I just love everything about this pencil the texture I love the way that it goes on. I like that. I don't have to press too hard I like that. It's light enough that it doesn't make my eyebrows look like they're black because I don't like my eyebrows looking super dark So we're just gonna fill in I need to buy more of these like I always buy just one at a time and I need to buy like four or five at a time I also like to use these in my kit They're awesome so we're just gonna fill in the brows. I feel like there's been so much going on. Like, there honestly is so much going on, period. Like, today I've just been, it, I think it's only like one o'clock. Yeah, it's only one o'clock and I've just been super busy since I woke up. My business partner is currently in Puerto Rico. She's on vacation. So I'm running the store. You know, I've done it before. And so has she, like when I'm on vacation, she takes care of everything. But we got so many freaking orders yesterday that I'm like, Ugh, geez. So I've been working on that stuff. And if you guys didn't know, I know most of you guys do know, but I do have my own online clothing boutique. It's called Brendalyn and Cora. Cora is me. That's my last name. And Brendalyn is my business partner. We're also going to be having a fashion show for a party, an all-white party that's going to be taking place in downtown Orlando. We have models, we have like an entire collection being made right now in Colombia, which I'm super, 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 super excited about um, because we put a lot of work into that stuff. Like we sit there and design each of the pieces and like little details and all that stuff. So it means a lot to us when the stuff actually comes out and we get to see it in person because it was all just pretty much an idea in our heads at one point. Let me zoom in a little bit. So yeah, so we're super excited about that. So that should be happening pretty soon. I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the concealer that you guys chose, which has me a little stressed out because I don't use this concealer underneath my eyes. It's just way too dry for my skin, but I'm gonna use it anyway. So I'm gonna use it to clean up underneath my eyebrows. And this is an Aesthetica brush that I got in my BoxyCharm. I just got my BoxyCharm yesterday. So I was like, well, I might as well use the brushes that are in it to see how I like it. And this is just like a slanted angle brush. So I'm just going to pick up some of the concealer and clean underneath my eye, clean underneath my eyebrows. Um, and then today I have a client at 5.30, I think. Um, just a blowout, nothing crazy. And then I have to go to my mom's house 
I haven't seen my mom since before I went on vacation. But I have to go to my mom's house because I'm going to do her hair for Mother's Day so that she has like fresh roots for Mother's Day. So I'll be doing that later on. And then I have a client early in the morning tomorrow, a hair client, and it's going to be a process. Like I'll probably be on her hair for a couple hours. So it's just going to be a busy weekend. And then Mother's Day I have clients as well. So it's going to be a busy weekend, but I am very happy and very thankful because... That just means I'm busy and I'm working and I'm making my money and all that stuff, so... I'm trying to figure out how I feel about this brush. It isn't bad. Like, it's doing its job. I'm also going to prime my eyes with this concealer. Right on... There. This is a... It says Revenge. I think I got this off Amazon. It's just like a fluffy brush but I like using brushes like this just to pat in my primer um also I got this piece from this little boutique called Days Clothing if you've been following me a while you know that they've sent me stuff plenty of times so I really want to take a picture of it and post it on my Instagram story just so you guys can see because I got it last night and I posted a picture of it last night but I just posted a picture of it like laying out I didn't try it on um, but it's really cute. It's a two-piece set with like a flare pant and a little crop top thing. And now my, like I have only a couple lashes. I have a couple of my lash extensions left. There's not too many. Um, I do want to redo them one more time. I might do them for when I go to Mexico. I'm still deciding, but after that I do want to give it just a little break just to let my lashes breathe a little bit. But I freaking love them and I will do them forever as long as it's available to me. So now real quick, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is also the powder that you guys chose for me to set my face, but I'm just going to set my eyes so that I can blend my eyeshadow easily. And this is a Morphe M438. I'm still thinking about doing my favorite Morphe brushes. Let me know down below if you guys do want me to do that. Because um, I do have a lot of their brushes. Some of them I think are better than others, so I will definitely do a video if you guys want to see that. If not, then I won't do it. Okay, so now for eyeshadow. <laughs> I wasn't surprised when you guys chose this. I'm going to be using this BoxyCharm and Pure Cosmetics collab, and this is the palette. I have no idea what I'm going to come up with. I might do, like, something neutral and then throw this blue underneath my lid. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to start off with transitions anyway, so let's see how this goes. I'm going to start off by taking a mixture of these two colors. I'm taking it on a Morphe R37. These are the colors Perfect and Nakey, and it's just like a peachy looking transition. Not coming up pigmented at all, so let me try just Nakey. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit better. And I'm just throwing this kind of sloppily in my crease just as a transition sort of color. I'm just going to keep building it until I get it the color that I want. I actually missed doing eyeshadow. Like, I haven't done, like, eye makeup in such a long time because I had the lash extension. So I was like, yeah, like, I'm just going to enjoy not doing eye makeup. But it made me miss it. And seeing, like, looks back to back, like, on Instagram and, like, people posting videos, I was like, oh, my God, I want to play with eyeshadow so bad. So, no, I've been playing with eyeshadow almost every single day, and it's been making me so happy. Um, don't get me wrong, I still like my no eyeshadow, just lashes and, like, simple eyes for every day, but I do like playing with eyeshadow. Like, it lets my creativity kind of go. This eyeshadow is such a pretty transition. Like, this peach color is really, really nice. Still don't know what I'm going to do, but this transition is very, very pretty. Next, I'm going to take a brush that's a little bit smaller. This is one of my favorite brushes of all time. It's the Morphe M433. And I think I'm going to pick up some of this color called Bell. I'm not sure how it's going to look. It has a little bit of a sheen, but... Why is my sister FaceTiming me? Hold on. Like in my area, in our, in our area? R. It's going to be R. Uh, Kristen is in town and Victor Cabral is in town, so the squad's getting together. Oh, Lord, of course you guys are. Where are you guys going to go? We're probably going to go bar hopping. Like, we're not going to go clubbing. Um, I'm trying to film a YouTube video. You're actually on my YouTube right now if you want to take a look at the screen. Oh, God. Okay. So, I'll talk to you when I'm done. Okay. Bye. I like these colors a lot. They're fun. And they're blending. 
pretty nicely. I'm gonna take that first R37 brush and just blend. I'm gonna do this color called Duet. I'm being super basic right now, but it's okay. This look could turn into something crazy real quick. And I'm putting that on with a Morphe M562. And I'm working very, very, very lightly. I'm not applying too much pressure. And I'm just kind of putting it in my outer V area. Um, so yeah, we're moving also very soon and it's funny because when i mentioned that we were moving on um instagram everyone like freaked out like i'm like guys relax like we're gonna be in orlando we're just moving locations because tyler is opening a tattoo shop downtown and we live like 30 minutes from downtown but when there's no traffic when there's traffic sometimes it takes him like an hour and 30 minutes to get there which is just craziness i need to switch brushes but i'm gonna use the morphe e18 which is usually I use it to work on my under eyes, but we're going to use it for everything right now. Damn it. I wet my brush by mistake. I'm trying to figure out what color I'm going to want to put on my lid. Well, between us, we just got back from Italy and then Tyler has everything going on with his shop. And then we're moving and then we're going to Mexico in like two weeks so there's a lot going on right now hopefully I can be as consistent as possible with my um, posting I'm gonna vlog when I go to Mexico so don't worry because every time I go somewhere everybody's like oh my god vlog but anytime I travel I will vlog just because I also like having those memories and I love being able to put them in a video and have them somewhere and I've just been building that brown color that I don't even know what it was called duet I guess I don't even know what color to, to go with next, like with this look. I guess I'm going to do something like that, but I am going to use, I guess I'll use Fix Plus. And I'm going to pick up this color Squad. That's right here. It's just like a really pretty peachy, corally color. And we're just going to pack that on the lid. Oh, this color is not doing it for me. Oops, that wasn't the color I was trying to pick up anyway. There we go. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen Grey's Anatomy, the last episode. I haven't seen it. I'm going to watch it today. By the time you guys see this video, I'm probably already watching it. Um, but I know it's going to be an intense episode because I saw like a spoiler thing. Somebody tagged me in it and I was like, damn it! Um, so I know something crazy is about to happen. This color honestly isn't as... It's not what I imagined it would be. There we go, my finger is putting it on a little bit better. But it's like whatever, it isn't even anything that's like blowing my mind. Which is probably why I should have done something crazier, but... Yeah, like this is kind of... Meh. It isn't bad, like it's something I definitely wear out, but... Nothing... Nothing too crazy. I'm spraying my brush again, just to see if I can get... A little bit more of something yeah like it's coming off patchy I'm not sure how I feel about that that means this is about to go south and we can't have that it's like becoming like foil I mean whatever But then this side is like super, I'm having technical difficulties right now. We're going to move on because this is going to stress me out and then I'll go back if I have to and make some changes or moves or whatever. So we are going to use the Inglot gel liner. You guys chose this over the new, um, I just got a new liner from Pretty Vulgar in my BoxyCharm and this brush also this brush also came in BoxyCharm. It's this little pointed brush from the Aesthetica, Aesthetica line. So we're going to see how this goes. Okay, this is making it so easy. 
this pen or this um brush. This brush is great for gel liner. Like, look at that. Did a great job. And I don't usually use my um, Inglot because I didn't have a brush that I really liked for it. So very quickly, I'm just going to coat my lashes. I didn't put a mascara in the thing because mascara usually doesn't matter because I just put on fake lashes anyway. I'm just going to use my Monsieur Big, which I'm almost out of. Look at the... My lash extensions are, like, separated. Um, this is my favorite mascara ever 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 it's the only mascara i've ever seen that's given me a real difference i'm gonna go ahead and put on the dame boss lashes in the style bless which you guys chose so i'm just going to put on some lash glue let that dry and then put my lashes on and then we'll move on to the face all right so the lashes are on the glue is drying still so if you see a little bit of white that's what it is i went like this because i had fallout and i have shimmer all right there but I don't even care. We're just going to move past it. So for primer, I'm going to prime with the primer that you guys chose, which is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I was super happy you guys chose this because the um, other one was like a blurring primer. And because my skin is dry, I normally don't use like those thicker based primers. I prefer something hydrating. So I was super happy that you guys chose this. I was like, yes, they're looking out. Like there were certain things that I was like, oh my God, I hope they don't play me right now. And for foundation, I'm going to be using my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is in the shade Syracuse. It might be a little bit light for me right now because as you can see, super dark like I normally get in the summertime. So I'm just going to dot this on my face. It might match. I just might have to bronze a lot this on my face this is one of my favorite foundations of all time um at, yeah it's definitely light at sephora i would say if i could choose three this would be like my number two favorite because my lancome is still my favorite so now i'm gonna go ahead and blend this in with my l'oreal sponge you can get this at like any drugstore really ulta um walgreens cvs walmart um, this foundation has amazing coverage, but it's very, very lightweight. It's very, like, watery when you shake. Yeah, I'm going to need so much bronzer. When I'm this dark, I'm usually the color... I don't know if it's pr pronounced Macau or Macau, um, but it's pretty dark. As you guys know, I get very, very dark. Um, and I'm going to Mexico, so you already know how much darker I'm going to get. But I'm not going to... I'm going to try to keep product off of my forehead because my forehead is just so much darker than the rest of my body and yeah now I look crazy <laughs> but let's hope that bronzer saves us and now I'm gonna go in with the concealer that you guys wanted which is the radiant creamy concealer in the shade ginger this is gonna make me look even lighter but it's what you guys voted on so that's what we're gonna do I'm only gonna do one eye at a time because this concealer can get very cakey on me um, so I'm only gonna do one under eye at a time so that it doesn't sit for too long and then we're gonna go ahead and do this eye gotta get right up in that corner yeah, like, look how bright that is under my eyes. It's way too light for me right now, but whatever. We're going to make it work. Yo, and what sucks is you guys chose the Laura Mercier powder for me to set my entire face. So this is, this is going to be interesting. Like, look at how light I look. But we're doing it for you guys. Now, underneath my eyes, I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Banana. I used to use this all the time like i used to love this powder i just cannot stand the packaging but i'm gonna go ahead and blend out my under eye one more time because i'm probably already creasing with this concealer and i'm just going to press it under my skin or under my eyes this powder is still amazing it brightens the under eyes so much um and i'm not a baker um, as most of you guys know, I don't bake underneath my eyes because I have dry skin and dry under eyes. 
Um, so I just press it into my skin. Like, look at how bright my under eyes are right now. Um, and go from there. Yeah, this powder is just really messy. If they fix the packaging, it'd be bomb. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Laura Mercier powder. I'm going to use a sponge because that's the only way I know that I'm not going to look crazy. I'm so nervous right now. I'm just going to press it in. Oh, I've never used a loose powder to set my face. Ever. And I'm going to keep this part of my forehead free of powder. I look like a ghost. Y'all played me right here. You guys did. So now I'm going to go ahead and bronze heavily with this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is an amazing bronzer and I'm going to go ham right now. Um, and I'm going to go in with the Morphe M530 brush, one of the brushes that I highly recommend from Morphe. One of my favorite brushes out of every brush that I own. Okay, this is helping. Bronzer will always save us. Bronzer is probably my favorite. Bronzer and concealer are my two favorite makeup products. And gloss, of course. Okay, yeah, this is helping a lot. And it tastes like chocolate. It's super delicious. Um, like if it falls in your mouth, you can taste the chocolate. Kind of like the peach, their peach collection, how you can taste the peaches. It's very similar to that. Okay, let's put this bronzer like all over so I could get some color back into my face because I am so light. Let's put a little bit on my nose. I'm not going to contour. I'm just going to dust it on my nose like that. Now I'm going to go into the Anastasia Light to Medium Contour Kit, which you guys also chose. I really wanted to try the um, Pure Cosmetics one that we just got in BoxyCharm, but you guys chose this one, so I am not going to choose that because that looks like dirt on my face. I'm going to take the two colors on the outside, this one and this one, and I'm going to use those to contour. And just add more color to my face because... Your girl is ghostly. Now I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Mellow Wine. I love this blush, so I'm really glad you guys chose this because the other one was that really bright pink from um, Pretty Vulgar. And I was like, oh my god, if they choose this, I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to put this on with a Morphe E4. I'm gonna put a little bit around my nose area. It just makes you look a little bit more sun-kissed. And since I look so pale right now, I'll take sun-kissed. Now for highlight, I was actually kind of surprised that you guys chose this, but you guys chose Champagne Pop. And I was like, really? Like, I thought, I don't know, I just figured Champagne Pop was like super done. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M510 and some Champagne Pop. And we're just gonna go on the cheekbones. I mean, Champagne Pop is amazing and is a classic. So I'm not even mad at it. It's like one of the only highlights that I've actually hit pan on. Which is a good thing. Okay, now I'm just going to drown my face in MAC Fix Plus. This is the lavender one. I really like this. It smells like a man, kind of. It smells like cologne. Because all the powders on my face. Like, look at how... It's okay though. I love the smell of that Fix Plus. Like, delicious. I'm gonna go in real quick with the palette again and I'm going to pick up the first color which is called Perfect. I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. Wow, this has like, I was gonna say no color payoff. And it's more of like a satin eyeshadow. It's definitely not a shimmer, but that's okay. And then under the eyes, I'm going to use this E36 brush, and I'm going to pick up that shade Bell, which is like that peachy color. I'm going to put that underneath the eyes. With this Morphe M432, I'm going to pick up that color Duet, which is that dark, dark brown, and just get it really close 
to my lash line. Now for lips, you guys chose this Galactic Matte Lip Paint, and this is in the shade Demure. It's going to be kind of dark, and it's not going to be the same tone as this look. Just going to throw that out there right now. But it is a pretty color, and I can lighten it with concealer if I need to. Yeah, like this definitely does not go with the look. Oh no, I don't like that. Mm, I don't like that at all. I'm lining it. Like, it's way too pink. So I'm going to put some Abu Dhabi. Let's see if this helps. Not really. I guess that's a little bit better. A little bit. Not by that much. Alright guys, so here we are with the final look. I went ahead and changed. I'm wearing this really cute two-piece set. It's kind of hard to see, but I took a picture on my Instagram if you don't follow me. I'll put my Instagram down below. But here's the final look. I ended up, complexion-wise, it ain't bad. It's not. I mean, I'm still a little bit light, but I feel like that bronzer really, really helped a lot. My highlight is beaming. The lip color, now that I'm, like, dressed in something normal, I like the way that it looks. Um, everything else worked out pretty well. A little bit of a struggle while we were in there, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you guys haven't already. Let me know of any other videos you guys want to see down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.